Hello there. Today I have got this wireless mouse. This one is a Logitech M310 mouse. I will be showing you how to take it apart and put it back together if you want to repair it or you just want to have a look at what's inside of it. So let's get started. So you can start by removing this back panel on the back and then in here holds the battery and the wireless receiver. There are two screws either side, so use a Phillips head screwdriver and take out one by the wireless receiver and one by the battery. Put those off to the side. Then you can remove this back panel by just pulling it down and sliding it backwards a bit. Then we get a look at the PCB on the bottom half and on the top half is where the buttons are. Use a flathead screwdriver and just pry around this grey bit and then that lifts this flexible bit of plastic off the top. This flexible bit of plastic has two bits on it that push down into these two buttons either side. There's three buttons in total there's a left click, a right click, and a middle click. And in this middle panel is a scroll wheel and this bit of plastic, which shines an LED up through the top to indicate whether the mouse is turned on or off. This scroll wheel, you can just pop that out, put that to the, off to the side, and then there's this spring, which is responsible for the clicky effect. It sits in some grooves inside the wheel and only turns a certain amount, which is what gives the clicky effect. Then on the bottom half, there's this PCB, and on one side there's an LED which shines a light through and is detected by this detector. But in the wheel, there are lots of little spokes, and when one of those spokes goes across the path of the light, it blocks the the detector and that then sends a signal to the computer to scroll. Also the bit that the scroll wheel sits in is flexible so it can push down which activates the middle click. There's one screw in the PCB that you can remove. Just set that off to the side. Then you can remove this sensor bit which is what is responsible for detecting whether it's moved around. You can just clean that bit if it's a bit dirty. And then lift off the spring which attaches to the negative side of the battery. And then there's a bit of metal going around which attaches to the positive side of the battery. And then just push those out. Then you can pull this PCB out. There's the button in the bottom of it, which is the switch for whether it turns on or off. It sits in there, slides back and forth. So now we've got it all disassembled, we can have a go at putting it back together again. There will be links in the description if there's any parts for if yours is broken. So start by taking this bottom panel and this plastic piece, which is the switch, and align the bit that's sticking out with the back of the mouse. It should just sit in. If it's not right, just turn it over the other way and put it back in again. Make sure that's pushed to the outer edge of the mouse. Then on the back of the PCB, there's the actual switch. Push that to the outside as well. And then just set that in. There's two clips on either side, so just push that under those latches and just push that down. If it doesn't click into place, then just take it out and put it back in again. Then you can put those battery connectors back in, just push everything down. And then that optical image sensor goes back into place. There's one screw in the PCB that just goes in the back. Once you put that screw back in, 
we can take this middle piece and put this tiny spring back in. It goes over a hook inside. Then this scroll wheel can go back in. You want the bit with the spokes on facing towards the left of the mouse. And that spring goes on the inside of the scroll wheel. Make sure that when you scroll it, it has that clicky effect. If it doesn't, then just realign the spring. Then put the middle piece on the bottom panel. And just pop those in. Then you can put the top piece back on. That just clicks into place. Then there's two screws to put back in. One by the battery and one by the receiver. Then this back panel just slides back on. So that's what's inside a Logitech M310 wireless mouse.